Okay, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Anam Bhavana Sampaktan. Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And if any of the other thoughts come into the mind, you don't have to pay them any attention. You're trying to develop the mind's good potentials. So you want to stick with them. That's how they develop. You put the breath together with your awareness and try to keep them there. It's like putting a seed in the soil. If you put the seed in the soil for a little bit, but then remove it, then put it again, and then remove it again, it's not going to grow. But if you put the seed in the soil, keep it there, water it, give it sun, then it's going to grow. In the same way, the good potentials of the mind have to be tended to. You can't mix them up with other things, because the mind has both good and bad potentials. It's not that we're innately good or innately bad. We have potentials in all directions. But when we come here, we realize it's because some of our potentials are going to lead us to create the causes for suffering, and others are going to lead us to the end of suffering. We want to develop the good potentials in the mind. So we can avoid that suffering. It really depends on us. Sometimes we blame problems in our lives on the world outside, people outside. And it can be true that there are some pretty bad things going on out there. But the question of whether the mind is going to suffer or not, that's an in inside job. It depends on developing these good qualities, qualities of mindfulness, alertness, your desire to do this really well. Put those together with the awareness and with the breath. And that little seed of goodness inside you is going to grow, and it's going to bear fruit. A happiness that's solid, a happiness that's secure, a happiness that's totally blameless, harms no one at all. It's only when your happiness doesn't harm anyone that it's really safe. So we look inside for the potentials of goodness, the potentials of happiness that are here. We try to develop them as best we can. Because otherwise, what happens? Well, you develop the unskillful potentials without really realizing that you're developing anything. But wherever the mind tends to think about, wherever it tends to focus its attention, as the Buddha said, it gets bent in that direction. So you want to bend the mind in the direction toward the end of suffering, a happiness you can really rely on. <laughs> 